Hey guys, thought I'd take a few minutes here to discuss what was pretty big going on on Twitter today. I had a couple conversations through DMs uh, with some people uh, and their initial reactions when they heard that Adobe is discontinuing the development of Flash Player on mobile devices. Uh, a lot of the people that I talked to today were very upset. Uh, they said that their reasons for not using an iPhone or an iOS device was because it didn't support Flash. It could not run Flash-based websites, applications, stuff in a browser, app, apps, you know, anything that ran Flash, it could not handle, and that's true. Uh, Steve Jobs, Apple in general, does not like, uh, I think, uh, the whole Adobe, the whole company of Adobe. Uh, I love Photoshop. I hate Flash with a passion. So uh, for me, I'm glad that Apple was right in foreseeing HTML5, an alternative to Flash, as the future of, um, of web developing in terms of apps and stuff like that. Um, so I think that it was very smart for Apple to move away. Actually, they never really did flash, but to incorporate HTML5 years before um, these other companies are. Now, uh, one of the big things here is people that have flash, will you still have it? Is it going to disappear? No, uh, you will still have it. It will still be support, uh, supported Excuse me, in security updates, bug fixes, stuff like that. It just will not be further developed um, and, well, improved beyond necessary improvement which is fine. Uh, soon, within the next few weeks to months, I would say we're not going to have uh, devices shipping with Flash. Uh, so at this point, if you're a developer, it's going to be very key that you move your Flash-based applications to HTML5 or devise some alternative method uh, aside from Flash. Uh, you probably have heard of the website youtube.com. I think you're there now. That is a website that is heavily uh, Flash-based. And I encourage you to play a 1080p video. If you're in Windows, open up Task Manager. If you're in OS X, open up Activity Monitor. Run over to CPU and click on this CPU tab. Organize by the, the most uh, CPU-intensive programs. I'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll go ahead and open YouTube. We're not even going to do a 1080p video unless it's offered in it. Here's a John 4 Lakers video. We'll do 720p on that. We'll mute it. And let's take a look at uh, what CPU usage we have going on. It's going to take a few minutes for me to buffer 720. Uh, so let's see. It looks like screen recorders going on here. And if this would actually play, we'd be able to see. I'll give it a few moments to buffer. Well, that other video was taking forever to load. So I found one here from the Will of DC. It's being very, very slow uh, loading in 720. But we'll go ahead and punch play on that. We'll come over here, and we'll see that Safari is... Uh, up there, not as much as there it is. Flash Player, uh, it's going to use a lot of CPU. I've had C I've had Flash Player use 400% CPU. That means it's using four out of my eight threads, uh, or really two processor cores to their full extent, and that's ridiculous. Flash Player wastes a lot of power in spooling up processors way too much to render video activity. It's very glitchy. Uh, you're probably familiar with the YouTube Player. It sucks. And it's not YouTube's fault, it's Flash's fault for having a terrible application. I cannot begin to stress to you how much I hate Flash. So um, learning that it's no longer going to be developed and sold on mobile platforms is good news to me. I think HTML5 is a much more efficient uh, way to do stuff like that. Apple, go over to their site. I know I use them in examples a lot. Uh, I think it is the iPhone page. They've got the iPhone 4S jumping all over the screen. That's all rendered in HTML5, which doesn't use much power in terms of processing power. It doesn't take up much RAM. Uh, I'm not a developer. I don't know how well or how easy or hard it is to code in comparison to Flash-based content. Um, this is just definitely the future, and it's, it's unfortunate to see these other companies have wasted the past several years uh, in hopes that Flash would get better when we all knew that it is always going to suck. So that is my two cents on Flash. Leave your, um, your thoughts and feelings and all that information uh, on Flash Player and HTML5 down below. Look forward to reading that, and um, give me some requests for tomorrow's video. Our website is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz, and I'll talk to you in that video tomorrow. Bye-bye.